I just wanted to, my name is Kyle. I just wanted to show you how to use the Who Exchange. I really like the Who Exchange. I've been using it for quite a while. They have a lot of different uh, cryptocurrencies on here like Helium and MOF and Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP. A lot of different options to purchase and trade cryptocurrencies. They also have a swap system. I'm going to show you quickly how to actually send Bitcoin. You can send Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies to the Who Exchange and then send and you could actually exchange it into USDT and then send the USDT instead of sending it on the Ethereum blockchain, which is ERC20, you can send it on the Tron USDT blockchain, uh, which is TRC20, T is in Tango, TRC20, T is in Tron, um, which is a dollar is the is the fee or one USDT versus like $70, $80. Um, in gas fees that the ERC20 chain is charging. So really good way to get crypto into, um, turn it into USDT and then be able to send it out as a Tron version of USDT, especially if you're, if you're needing to send it uh, to different programs. Some of the programs that I'm involved in, um, the passive programs require uh, USDT to, to put money into the system or to purchase a package. So um, anyway, I just wanted to show you I sent some Bitcoin here. You can send it from any exchange or, or wallet, uh, cold storage wallet, um, coin, Coinbase, um, any exchange. Qcoin, I use I like Qcoin, uh, Cash App, Crypto.com. Any exchange that you're purchasing Bitcoin on or, or Ethereum or other cryptocurrencies, you can send it over to who? I'm going to show you real quick. Um, once it's in, in your balance, once you send it to your balance, you, you deposit the funds the Bitcoin into your balance. You have to move it from your balance to your spot account and then you can trade it into USDT. So I'm gonna do an asset transfer from my spot account to my balance. Excuse me, from my balance to my spot account and transfer into my spot account. I'm gonna transfer all the Bitcoin. So I'm gonna hit submit. You can transfer whatever amount. So that's completed. So there's no fee to do that. You can move it between, think of these as checking and savings accounts. You can move them between these different accounts. These are the two most common. Your spot is for trading. Balance is just where you hold your balance, your crypto. You can hide your coins here if you just want to see the, the coins you have. I don't leave a lot of crypto on the exchange. I mainly use it just to trade. Um, and then I move it to other places where I can earn passive income or stake it or whatever the case may be, or just hold it in a cold wallet. So um, once it's in the spot account, you can see now my Bitcoin's all in the spot account. I have $705 in Bitcoin in here. I can go to spot trading. And I might have to make this two videos, but this may be video one if, if I run out of time here. Um, I may, may have to make this. So I'm in here. I want to go to BTC because that's what I just transferred into my spot account. I want to do BTC USDT pair. So I want to transfer it. I want to purchase USDT or sell my my Bitcoin. Let's say I'm gonna sell 50% of my Bitcoin or 25%, 75%. I'll sell 25% of my Bitcoin. Um, one of the programs I'm doing right now is just a $300 um, membership and it earns passive income every day. So I, um, I would send 300, I could sell 50% or I could, I could actually pick the amount. I wanna pick market. If you do limit, you could sell it at a certain price, but it could take a while to fill. I usually just do market and just sell it at whatever the current price is. So I'm going to sell 25%. I could also put it in a mountain here. Here we go. So I just sold 25% of my Bitcoin that was in my spot account. So that's an instant transfer since I did market. It's an instant trade. Now I need to go back to assets. And then I'll look over here and I'll see, okay, in my spot account, now I should have, I'm going to hide my small coin, hide my small balance. So I should have... 529 in Bitcoin, and now I have 176 in USDT because I just sold some of my Bitcoin. So now that it's in here, I'm going to move it because I want to actually send this USDT out to another wallet or to a another program. So I want to send this somewhere else outside of here, and I want to send it in on the Tron train to save the money. So I'm going to go ahead and move it, transfer it to my balance, out of my spot trading account to my balance. I'm going to transfer all of it. I could transfer $100 if I wanted or $50, but I'm going to transfer all. And now it's not in here, so it should be sitting in my balance. Yep, there it is. I already had $100 in USDT in here, so now there's, 100, there's $276. I transferred $176.
doesn't cost anything to transfer between accounts. Now I TT in the, on the Tron train. So remember, I just transferred that. I just sold some Bitcoin into USTT, moved it from my spot account, my which I that's your trading account basically, into my balance. So now I have uh, I moved one hundred and seventy six dollars in Bitcoin in uh, USDT. So I have two hundred seventy six. Now when I go to withdraw it into another wallet or to another exchange. Um, I would click withdraw and I can send in all these different chains. These are different chains, um, USDT chains that the USDT can be transferred on. ERC20 is probably the most popular. That's the Ethereum chain. Right now, there's a lot of fees. So if I click that one, let's just say I'm going to click that. Look at this, $73. Even if I send a dollar, it's going to cost me $73 to send um, USDT. Even if I send $1 with the USDT, let's say I'm going to send $5. Well, the minimum withdrawal, let's see. Draw must must be more than the fee, so I have to at least send, you know, seven. I could send seventy four dollars, um, but I only it'll be seventy three dollar fee, so they'll actually only get a dollar. So that's ridiculous. We don't want to do that. Um, so we want to send it as TRC twenty. You got to make sure that the wallet that you're sending to is a TRC twenty wallet, not an ERC twenty. So that's very 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 important. Um, so TRC twenty. Watch this. I'm going to send all. Look at this. One dollar. So I'll send $276 and they'll get $275 on the other end, whoever I'm sending it to or if I'm sending it to my own wallet or to a program um, or to an exchange. They're gonna, there's going to be $275 showing up on the other end. So much better way to do it. I just want to make sure everyone understands the difference between these different accounts and the fact that you have to move it when you want to withdraw or deposit, you're going you're gonna to be doing with your balance. When you want to trade, you're dealing with your spot account. There's also futures and other different accounts in here. These two are the most popular that I use. You can also swap different currencies here or trade on the spot trading. So who exchange is very easy to use once you learn it. Um, just make sure you're in the assets when you want to view your different assets and you're using spot trading when you want to make trades. I can't trade until I move it to my spot account. Got to remember that. So I can move this Bitcoin back now that I've transferred i can move it all back to my balance i usually just keep it on my balance if i'm not doing anything with it but i don't keep a lot of money on the exchanges like i said i just like to use them for moving money in and out of uh, off of different wallets so or if i'm trans trading different currencies i use this exchange for a lot of different currencies um, mof helium bitcoin ethereum xrp there's pretty much, there's tons of different currencies on here uh, cryptocurrency so it's very easy to use i really like this exchange no kyc required so if you have any questions um, go ahead and comment on the video or reach out to me um, i appreciate it talk to you soon